Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another daily plan with me. Okay, so today we're going to be planning out Friday, April 22nd in my Erin Condren Daily Duo. You guys know I have been loving this planner. And this week I kind of decided, actually it's just since yesterday, and I skipped a day. Y'all, it was a week. So I decided to start using some of my Chrissy Ann Designs journaling kits in my daily just because my collection is growing quite quickly. So I have a whole binder just devoted to the journaling kits. I'm kind of um, obsessed with them. So I really love this one. I'm waiting on my weekly kit for my hourly to show up, but I was ready to just like jump in and use this. It is just so freaking pretty. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what I did on this page is I pretty much whited out the entire top simply because this sort of purple indigo color for April is fairly dark um, in this planner. So a lot of things will show through and I just go ahead and white it all out. I am using the Tombow Mono Two-Way Correction Tape. Um, it is one of my favorites. I typically order it from Jet Pens, but you can get it on Amazon as well. But I love it. It's very smooth the way it dispenses. It's just, it's great. So I'm using this grid washi. I have several rolls of this washi, but um, I think that I got it from Amazon. I am not 100% sure. Like. If I'm not sure about something, it's 99% chance that I got it from Amazon. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So that kind of makes it like a nice neutral palette to work with. <clears throat> now I need my date cover and I think what I'm gonna do for today, and I might make these two pages match. It's just kind of my vibe lately. So I'm gonna use this Friday and then grab the, it would kind of help if I was in frame. Grab the 22, which is on one of these sheets somewhere. Here we go. Let me grab my handy dandy tweezers. And then I want like another like little strip of the washi sticker right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is use, let's go with this size over here, but I think what I'm gonna do is cut it in half because that's just way too much, I think. Did I just lose my number? I did. I totally lost the 22 uh, because I want this to last a few days so I feel like it doesn't need to be quite that long so we can make this stretch I mean not like I don't have quite a few pages of this theme and we'll see I could always change my mind okay so let's kind of flip that over we're gonna put the 22 over here and the Friday too many things in my hand clearly of course, I did not mean to put down the Friday first. I need to put the washi down first. <laughs> All right, there we go. I love the way that that like little bit of layering on the page looks. That's really, really cute. Okay, so next up, let's see. I want to do like the to-do area, I think. It's not really anything that you have to do. I just like doing it. Um, I don't know, just just the way that this page turned out and I really, really like it. So we're gonna cover that up. And then I'm almost certain that one of these pages comes with an additional to-do. It does, but it's separate down here, which is fine. I'm just gonna grab each of those and put that together over here. All right, there we go. Okay, I kind of like that the date is over here because when I put the date cover on this side, it kind of went into the lines for the times. Not the biggest deal, but also I was like, oh, that's kind of in the way. Okay, so next up, I want to start off with my AM routine. There was plenty of space for that. I can't find my stencil once again. <laughs> the thing is, is, is that it's clear, and so I can't see it, like... I don't know, it could be literally right in front of me and I just would be like oblivious to it. So, all right, AM routine, and then I typically like to write right underneath that my medication and my, my vitamins. Okay, really good. Okay, so today is actually a work from home day for me, so I'm going to mark out the work from home or just 
my typical work time right here and I love to use like the dashed line to mark out this space. Um, it is, yes, pretty much a huge chunk of my day, but even on my days at work, I kind of put in like just meetings and things like that, not my work to do's because that is done in my day designer. I have a daily day designer that I use for work and that has like a lot more of the details for the day. But for this planner, since it does incorporate my personal life as well, I do like to also include things that would that are part of my work schedule that could affect my home schedule, if that makes sense. So I wanna grab another um, little abstract piece there for marking out my work day. So I think I'm gonna use the yellow because I feel like we've used a lot of pink already and I'm kind of like, ugh don't want to keep doing all that but I'm going to put work from home here and I'm going to use the Chrissy Ann Designs permanent marker. I believe these just came back in stock in her shop but they probably will sell out pretty quickly if they haven't already. Didn't exactly leave myself enough space but that, <laughs> that will work. Okay so as far as meetings and things like that go I have one at one o'clock and then one at two because apparently someone thought it was a great idea to have Friday afternoon meetings. Isn't that so considerate of them? So we have a safety meeting here and then we have a staffing meeting at two, which hopefully doesn't take too long because I think after that, I'm pretty much going to log off for the day. I am also gonna mark out the time for lunch. And I think, because I'm feeling just a little bit extra, I am going to use like a little flower. Some of these are massive, so maybe not those. Uh, let's see. I know that these smaller journaling kits, yeah, they have a smaller flower right there. And I can just put that for lunch there. Okay, and then let's see, after that's pretty much my work schedule for the day. Next up, I wanna put what we're having for dinner and that's going to be takeout. We typically do takeout on Fridays, so um, that works for me. I love it. We typically do pizza, but to be quite honest, I'm a little bit pizzaed out. And then I wanna put a little flag because I have a couple of friends that are going live at, it's actually gonna be at 9 p.m. Not a big deal, because it is a Friday, so I definitely want um, to, hang up, to hang around or stay up later to support them um, doing their lives. So that's gonna be, whoops, I almost wrote right on the paper <laughs> in this one. All right, that is done. Now, one of the things that I wanna do is kind of fill up this square. And this is what I love about the journaling kits is that there are pages that have like huge florals on them, which are great for big empty spaces like this. Yes, I could fill it in with other things, but typically I just use that space to get a little extra decorative. And I think I wanna use this big giant flower in the middle of this sheet and I'm kind of thinking do I want to put it like right right here I could make it so that I don't have to cut any of it off which is also totally fine let's see Ugh, I'm gonna have a few bubbles I think I stretched the sticker a little bit taking it off of the sheet all right there we go kind of maybe oh that looks so pretty <laughs> It's like that purple indigo color like it never existed on this page and I love that so much. Not that I don't love that color, just this is more uh, my vibe. Okay, so now that that is done, let's see what do we wanna do across here because I kind of wanna put something right here to mark off like social media. I think let's go with this turquoise color right here. I typically do like a dashed line right here and I'm going to kind of like bring it up because I have a lot that I want to get done today and one of the benefits of working from home on Fridays is that during lunch sometimes I will knock out like two or three videos or edit something things like that and I'll also like film before work simply because I don't have to um Commute, like it saves me so much time <laughs> and gas, by the way. All right, so I know that I have a social media sticker that is in my font from Chrissy and Designs. Here it is. 
And so we're just gonna put that right on top of that turquoise part right there. Okay, so things that I am filming today is next week's uh, weekly plan with me, and I will be filming a daily plan with me. And then I think I'm also going to film my May plan with me. I cannot believe it's already going to be May. Like, ugh, May is my absolute favorite, but I'm biased because it's my birthday month. <laughs> All right, then I definitely want to edit the daily plan with me because that's gonna go up on Saturday. And then I wanna respond to comments and messages. Honestly, I could have given myself more space or just added more to-dos going down because there's like three more things that I need to add on this list, but we're doing what we can. So, oh my God, I love this so freaking much. I love both pages, like just side, oh, I love that. Okay, now as far as things that I want to get done, I want to do uh, laundry. I've already actually done like three loads of laundry this morning, it's, it's crazy, but. My office area is literally right outside of the laundry room and it's like I can hear the machine go off when it's done. So I just know like just get up, switch things over, on to the next thing. Um, I definitely want to vacuum and mop downstairs. And then I want to work on our list for Lowe's tomorrow. So we have a flower bed project that we're going to do tomorrow. Basically, we need to remulch our flower beds, but we decided we're going to do a different kind of mulch this year. So I need to make a list of all the things that we're going to need, but then I also need to go outside and measure the flower beds because I want to make sure we get the right things, the things that we need, like we also want to put a border around our flower beds, so um, definitely need accurate measurements for that so that we get the right amount of border and stuff that we're, we're hoping to get. Um, let's see. I think that that is it. I love this so freaking much. So I was actually talking to some friends of mine about how I really don't know which planner, like daily planner, I'm going to go with at launch time, which is on Monday, so just a couple of days from now by the time you're seeing this video. Um, because I love this space and a couple of times, I think in the last few weeks, I've tried to like test out going back down to A5 and I'm like, I'm just not sure <laughs> if that's what I wanna do. So I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm gonna get another seven by nine or do I get A5. I am still so team undecided, it is not even funny. Let's see if we're gonna include this part. I'll decide after I edit. So for full transparency, um, I was sent some things from the new line, not as part of like the launch crew or anything like that. I was literally just sent a gift um, from one of my dear friends that works over at EC. And so I have gotten to see the Daily Duo in the color blends, which to be quite honest, when I first saw everything with the launch color blends, I was like, absolutely not. It's just way too much. I did not like it at all. Um, and now that I've had a chance to see it in person and remove like the color blends cover, and if you kind of look at the book like without the color blends vellum, because again, it's just like color blend on top of color blend on top of color blend, it was intense. But I started looking at it and I was like, Okay, I might be team color blends, but every time I look at the neutral one that has like all of the, the layers of tissue paper looking situation, every time I look at that one and I see the tabs, I'm like, it's so beautiful. But then I think about what those tabs would look like with say a layout like this. Why that little thing bothers me, I, I don't. I don't know. Um, I'm also very, very, very interested in the vertical compact. I was sent the In Bloom one, and it is beautiful, but I can't deal with all the flowers on top of all the things, even though I just put flowers on my pages. It is very, very pretty. Again, I love the color scheme. Don't necessarily love what's directly on the pages. Um, so that's something to think about there. I'm thinking of swapping some of the things with some of my friends who want in bloom or you know whatever, and we're gonna we're gonna do some swapping. So <laughs> anyway, 
that's just kind of where I'm at. I was asked by a few people if I was going to post any content um, or reviews. I'll probably do a review like after things actually launch, um, but I'm not going to do like a review before the the items launch from EC simply because there are so many great content creators that have already created content and I think that they've done a wonderful job. I don't have anything that hasn't already been shared, truly. <laughs> I don't. So um, I'm actually going to watch a few more videos today. I've kind of been watching just two per day to spread them out and with every video I change my mind that's how good they are all right guys so that is it for today's daily plan with me if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already if you were already subscribed make sure you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube as always thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video bye everyone